Welcome to Crash Lands. What do I know about this game? Nothing really. I'm going to blind, so that's always fun to do. So let's hit play. Choose your adventure story mode. Question mark. So reach the second biome and story mode to unlock. Complete any of the other modes to unlock. So we have to do story mode. Experience the story of Flux Daves. I guess that's me. Interstellar delivery driver as she undertakes an epic journey to get her packages delivered. You go girl. Includes tutorial and recommended for all new players. Sounds good. So your difficulty. Like always on the channel, I always go so hard as difficulty, so I'm doing Lunar Chris. Highest difficulty, high stakes combat. Everything hits very hard. You will have to rely heavily on your skills to survive. So I'm gonna die a lot. Okay. So enter your save. What do you want to call it? It's called YouTube. Alright, and there's YouTube. And here we go. Is this multiplayer? Bureau of Shipping Shipment Shipping Ship. BSSS asses. I don't know. Because in the cutscene it said so. Transporter Flux Dave. Supervisor Pallet Unit 428 Jukes Box. Carrier Contract 432547. Contract Requirements Deliver 3 Packages. Alright, what does that mean for me? And then I said, hey, that's not a USB port. Ha uh, ha. Uh, ha uh, uh. ha. Yeah, there we go. Ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. USB port my sides. Hey, did I hear laughing? You got packages delivered. Laughter impedes productivity. BS Danny. Juice box. No, sir. Flux was choking. Uh, 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 I'm choking. That sounded like a titter. Nope, she's totally choking. We'll see who's choking when I cut 5% from your pension. Was there something you needed, sir? I need a status report on your package delivery. Two weeks until we arrive. Everything is on schedule. Good. And remember those packages. Can't have a scratch on them. Ooh, I'm kind of remembering. Don't we crash land, hence the name, and it's kind of like a Don't Star type game? I think that's what it is. This isn't our first rodeo, sir. Oh, jeez. Wow, Kerbuckla. What happened? Something just popped. A war, a war bubble. We stop moving and just must be dead. Ew. That shouldn't even be possible. Why are you floating? Was that always like that, or was that actually see for? I don't remember. Let's get the engines restarted. Slap that control panel to your left. That didn't do anything. Oh no. Did you make sure it's plugged in? Well, hello. There's space travelers. Welcome to planet... Whoa, no. Oh god, what are you? That's a little rude. You mean the first alien you see and you're like calling it like ugly? I'm Hugo Duco. You can call me Hugo Duco. Okay. Because, as I said, my name is Hugo Duco. Sorry to pull your little space truck out of space warp like that, but I need a quick space favor. Want a pretty tight schedule, floaty head guy? Ahem. I'm working on a little science project, but I need a quantum electro dongle. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? We do, but it's part of our ship. Moving it would cause the ship to explode. So as floating the ship would cause the extra dongle to be removed? Why would you tell him that? That logic checks out. Great. I blame you, juice box. And there you go. The BSSS asses is down destroyed. Oh, you look kinda cool, dude. Kinda remind me of the Pokemon the elephant rolling thing. If you know what I'm talking about, I don't know his name. It's like Fampy or something? Remind me to replace your Judge of Character chip. Good idea. No time for finger pointing. We'll revisit this later to escape pod. First things first, save the packages. Your pension won't be worth anything without them. So I click on like, what's packages? Grab that package. How do I grab? Maybe these are packages? One down, two to go. Let's, let me just open these doors here. Beep boop boop. Those electric shocks look deadly, be careful. All right, I thought those were packages. So what are these, just doors? So if we come here, which we can't because it's actually a wall, oh, that looks weird. So yeah, time that, so I'm going to wait for the next one. I put the UI on the biggest thing because I always figure out this always looks small on the videos. So if we were good, one left. Went back to the upper room, grab that space wrench, then hit those shocking barricades until they explode. Alright, so yeah, wait once again. It's night, it's 8 a.m. I almost said 9 a.m. That's not even close to what time it is. Had about 15 hours. So we gotta grab this. There we go. It's a space wrench. We hit this with it and does damage. So we get through. I did get hit by that shock. That stinks. 
Last package. Done. Now let's get to the escape pod. At the back of the ship before this whole thing goes boom. So now we gotta destroy this. Hit you. What? I'm clicking on you. There are space duck pies in these side rooms. Fucks, we don't have time for that. There's always time for pie. Space duck pie can heal my runes and they're delicious. Then let's... Then let's talk of feelings and more grabbing a pie. Gotta go. Alright, hit this. And now get the pies. So my right, click on them. I am a little hurt. Because the misclicking is harsh in this. Go on, click. Grab you. Don't know what that is. Got to come over and destroy these. We get nothing for them, so I don't need to go back to destroy the one. I don't think there's a time limit, so I'm perfectly fine. Get out of that way. And we kill both of them with one shot. There's a escape pod. I need you to hold my wrench. Juice Fox will be coming in hot. So you got my wrench, and you have the packages on you. Let's get in. And off we go. Bye bye, BSSS asses. I'm nice knowing you, and good name. And here we are, crash landings. Graphics are okay. Look at that title sequence. I wish there was more like voice acting and more to it. But I believe this is an indie game, and here we go. Don't start apart. And kablamo. Oh, why am I out? What a majestic landing flux. Wheezing. I think I used up my kidney on the dismount. Yeah, I hit it pretty hard. Well, you still got one left. Let's finish this delivery. Yep, need one kidney to live. What about that alien maniac who just blew up the ship? We just need to contact the Bureau of Shipping so they can send a space rescue space. Space rescue space. Truck. Oh, before he shows up again. So, we'll need to build an advanced comm device. With sticks? Yeah. With sticks and flowers, that was my saying. Guess we should get a base of operations start. This will take some time doing. I'm deploying the survival station just south of the escape pod. Why don't you make some force out of the saw glass, throw some blades into the survival station to build up? So, we need saw glass. So we just click on it, and it destroys it. Pretty simple, we pick it up. And, oh, I need fucks, needs a saw to cut that. Okay, so progression. Little baby animals, we got some, what was that, seed of it, so we make farms. Look like a gem, crystallized juice. Is that like water for myself? Okay, got our flower. So what, we just go on collecting stuff, and we need a tent right here. So we will get it, we got five of them. So we get 10 of them very quick. And we're about to get our 10th one. Oh, we got 11th ones and 12th one. So now we should be able to build something. So we come right over here. Do we click on it? Yes, we do. It wants us to make the fetch saw four. Fours prevent wild creatures from randomly popping up in your house. It can also be used as bridges. Sure, let's build. Now we should have one of them. Oh, there's a time limit, I hate that. Well, we get 10 of them maybe? That seems like a good ratio. Now use build mode to put those down. Is it the hammer icon in the bottom left of this visor interface? I swear they change the UI with every update. Too real. Yep, just open that up and put it down some flooring. Can I just click on it? Yes, I can. So, we gotta build. I guess we build it by a crafting station, right? I mean, it makes sense. So we can't put it there because of the space thing. So that's gonna be kind of awkward. We can do like... Wait, we have two more left. Let's go out wide here. Sure, you have no force in place. Got it, so close. Nice, hey, I see some tree-like things out in the distance. You could cut those down for wood. Let me use my analyst engine to design a good tool. Hee honk. Your visor tracks the materials you need in the upper right corner. Now get to building the same. Boo yeah, time to make that locally sourced saw. So I need more saw grass. Okay, and what's this? Ooh, saw. Schematic discovered. Saw grass. Oh, that's nice of you. All right, I have enough force. If I click on this again, come over here, build a saw. I have everything required, so let's build it. And there we go. Ooh, look at this cutscene. Tool integrated. Oh, so like now my fix can cut down trees. Check out my saw. It's awesome. I right, close the game down. That's over. Don't like that. No. Hey, wait a second. Where'd it go? Whenever you need it in your suit, we'll teleport it right to your hand. I like that. Guess I will doodling during that meeting. Neat. Why don't you doodle a sawmill into existence then? We need a better station to get a proper comm device built anyways. Ah uh, yes, a sawmill will let us harness the power of wood. Would it? Though, would it? 
That's getting worse and worse, the dialogue. Yes, it would. He, 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 he. Kill me now. How can I tell if I have enough of the parts for it when I'm exploring? Slap the enormous track button next to build. When you're inside this fireball station, that'll put the components on your HUD. Sweet, it's like a grocery list burned into my eyes. I'll do that before heading out. Good idea. So we need a schematic. He just pops it right out. We come into here. We click on it and say track. Easy enough. Now what do I need? I need grass. Let me quickly collect that grass. We got quite a bit to get. Man, this all is a lot quicker to look at. It only takes like two minutes. So I know one cutting these out is a random amount. Sometimes you get none, sometimes you get three. So that's nice to know. And if I cut these out, I should get wood, right? And no, I get sticks. Hmm, I need a actually find a tree then. Ooh, that looks like a queer, like, a twist creature. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. So these are just reeds, which aren't useful. That's probably wood right there. And it's probably a bad guy ready to kill me. No, we're not. Are you safe? Yes. So I need 13 of these, and I got a new entry, log tree. Log creative. So there looks like there's fishing spots in this game. I wonder if this is randomly generated, or is it the same every time because story mode. Here's some more logs. Oh, I have to click on for the sticks. Are you the type of person to over collect when it says collect these objective? Or are you going to do the exact amount and be like, okay, let's go back. I think I'm going to over collect because look at all this wood. It was quite a far walk. Do you want me to destroy that? Oh no. Ooh, that's like a fragment of something interesting. Let's click on it. Hopefully it doesn't hurt me. Turbo speed plus 50 for... Oh, 60 seconds. Interesting. Looks like you got everything you need, but harvesting trips are starting to stray pretty far from the ship. Yes, they are. Yeah, I'm getting tired of walking back all the time to build stuff. You forgot about the ship teleport, didn't you? Ooh, you can teleport to the ship from the map. Give it a go. I'll teleport with you. Teleportation buddies! No, I need more wood. I don't want to walk back out here. So let me quickly do that. Alright, it's getting dark, so let's go back. What do I got to teleport? We'll use an M. And then we click on it. And we teleport. Ooh, what's this? Telepad. And then teleport to the actual... Okay. So what's the telepad from then? Hmm. And we're back at base. It's getting hard to see out here. Well, yeah. It's a thing called darkness. Ooh. I'm going to need some light so I don't fall into a horrible alien filled pit. Let me see. Boop, 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 scanning for a ship debris. Whoa. Ho ho. One of the last from the ship land somewhere nearby. I marked its probable area and it's on your map so you can find it. Hit the map icon in the bottom left corner of your visor to see where the light source is. Then lug that meaty body of yours over to it. So first I gotta make the mill. So we click that and build. Now we got a wall, a workstation. Okay, I guess I want to do the workstation. No, I have one of those. So let's do the wall now. We can only build one of those. That's fine. And it stores in there. And there we go. Assembled. There we go. Look at that achievement. Oh, we call it stuff we can build too. Not achievement, but like flashy screen, I guess. And we got some fast walls. Whoa, so many things to build. Time to rev up the old sawhorse. Er, where'd it go? It's in your suit. Use build mode and hit the infinity symbol to access all the structures you got stored in it. Then you can select the sawmill and put wherever there's some sturdy flooring. Alright, so infinity symbol. I want the fast wall. Oh, can I? I had to place on the floor. Okay, I'm not going to be using that anytime soon because I can't put it there. That's gonna be. I put that as a door. We can do that as a door. I'm gonna need one more there. And then, hmm. How am I gonna do this wall then? Whatever. Let's just place stuff down. We got an open concept, and there's a sawhorse. So we can do trees to grow. I'm gonna play on fur dirt. Is that this stuff? Oh, I don't know where I click it. All right. So let's get out of here. But bam. Hey, Juice Box. I feel like we're being watched. Do you think, hey, Guduku is out there? Undoubtedly, but he probably thinks we exploded, which should buy us some prep time. I'd feel better with some armor, both for dealing with Hugo and those stomping beasts. Why don't you start with a wooden chest plate? Protect the one kidney of yours. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for his sentient life. According to Bureaupedia, the ten drum half goat half plant creatures live here. There we go. Oh, I had a cough. We got the log chest. And to build it, 
we build it in here. And we just need more logs, of course we do. So we're going up to get some logs. And there, hopefully it's the only log we need. Oh, there's one right there. So let's get that. That's all we need, but let's get one more mark. I can see it in distance. I didn't go very far, just straight up from the base. Might as well look at a map. And the light source is somewhere over there. Let's teleport home, because I don't think it costs anything. It doesn't like waste time. Doesn't like it. So now let's make a chest piece. So click on here, chest piece, build. Is that not? Ooh, we need sawdust, which we have. So we need more logs to do that. Ooh, we got health, toughness, ooh, attributes. Excellent log chest of transfusions. Is that just a lucky roll? Because that could be kind of cool. By the power of wood, I am now protected. I need to figure out how to stop those creatures from killing me. They're mighty aggressive. Ooh, I bet you could get all kinds of useful parts out of these hideous beasts. Fire up that analog engine of yours and find out how to make someone stabby with the parts we have. Here are a proper shank for a proper delivery jar. Get it built. And we need a bunch of straw and wood again. Ah, oh, jeez. Ooh, my health went up. Look at how much I have now. Instead of having, how much was that? You had 50 before? So I think I'm gonna end it here. This is a quick. Ooh, what's that? Sawgrass sword. This is a quick glimpse of this game. You want to see more? I'm willing to. So I can still got a whole story to do. Can I find the light source? Can't do log collecting. Kind of wish I had more inventory space down there. But I think my backpack's on limit. So yeah, want to see more? Tell me down below. If not, you're not hurting my feelings. So like always, thanks for watching. And have a great day. Comment down below. And bye. Again, I always say this, but links in the description below. And can I actually beat you up with just my fist? No, I cannot. I need a weapon. Run!